Liverpool injury nightmare doesn't seem to come to an end. This time is Joe Gomez's turn. France must learn from the shocking defeat against Finland, says Antoine Griezmann. Players are being treated like puppets by FIFA and UEFA, says Tony Kroos. More details coming up. Hey guys, welcome to Studio Football where we go through the most important and recent news regarding football. If you enjoy this type of videos, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I upload almost every day. And also please let me know in the comment section below who do you guys think will win the Euro 2020 next year. And without further ado, let's get started with the news of the day. Ronald Koeman is backing up Antoine Griezmann to find consistent form for Barcelona, but won't rule out a bid to sign Memphis Depay. Marc-André Stegen is desperate for more trophies after committing his future to Barcelona by signing a new contract till 2025. Paulo Dybala will become the next Lionel Messi, but only if he leaves Juventus and joins a club like Real Madrid or Barcelona, says former Palermo president Maurizio Zampirini. Zinedine Zidane is once again under pressure at Real Madrid, but defender Dani Carvajal insists the dressing room is fully behind him. Kai Havertz has revealed he opted to join Chelsea because winning titles with the Blues is worth more than any other club. Tony Kroos has accused FIFA and UEFA of treating footballers like puppets by creating new tournaments at club and international level. After almost a month on the sidelines, Marco Verratti is back in training with PSG. It had been reported an ankle issue could keep Lionel Messi out of Argentina's meeting with Paraguay, but that won't be the case. Liverpool's defensive injury crisis may have deepened further, after it was reported Joe Gomez could be facing a lengthy absence. The severity of Joe Gomez's injury is not yet clear, but Gareth Southgate is concerned after it happened with no players around him. USA take on Wales and Panama over the next week, but it will be without Christian Pulisic for both matches. Renato Sanchez ended a long wait for a Portugal goal, as Cristiano Ronaldo and João Felix scored in a comfortable, friendly win over Andorra. Germany had won just one of their five matches in 2020, before Gianluca Walschmidt scored in a 1-0 victory over Czech Republic. Federico Bernardeschi and Riccardo Orsolini added to Vincenzo Grifo's brace as Italy registered a routine victory over Estonia in Florence. Two goals from striker Michi Bashuai gave Belgium victory over Switzerland in a low-key international friendly in Leuven. The Netherlands and Spain played out a 1-1 draw in Wednesday's friendly in Amsterdam. France suffered their first defeats in June 2019, as Finland pulled off a surprise win thanks to goals from two new 21-year-old players. Barcelona have failed to reach an agreement with players over salary reduction. With Barcelona star Lionel Messi linked to Paris Saint-Germain, his father Jorge played down the speculation. Stop inventing fake news, he wrote on Instagram. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updated news like this, as I upload almost every day. Till then, see you guys soon.